Girls of Reddit, what's a seemingly small habit guys can have that impress you? Remember something I talked about and reference it later. It shows you are listening and interested in what I have to say. Having a bin in their toilet, that's literally it. Buy a two pound bin, put a plastic bag in it, put it in the toilet. I will be so excited and think of you as husband material. Do you know how stressful it is to be a woman and go to the bathroom at a guy's house when you need a bin, and there's no bin? I have one. It is full of about a year's worth of empty toilet paper rolls. When my boyfriend and I cooked dinner and he began to clean the dishes before I could get to them. I know this is probably stereotypical, but I was impressed that he didn't expect me to clean them up, especially after watching my own very traditional family dynamics. Not having a reaction to hearing about periods, I just started a new job and realized I was bleeding, and asked co-workers for a tampon. My male manager overheard and matter-of-factly asked if I needed ibuprofen or anything, and instantly gained points with me for asking maturely not shying around it. I understand that periods may make you uncomfortable, but that doesn't mean you can't be respectful mature when they're brought up. My teenage son is super chill about periods. If he sees me laying with my heating pad he'll usually ask if I have my period and then after to get me matron. Then he'll spend the next few days checking if I need anything. He's going to be a good man when it comes to dealing with women on their period. Managing to display the bare minimum of attention when it comes to my interests. One ex would constantly harp on the fact that I had no interest in playing video games with him. Despite that I was content to just chill and watch him plaw, and badger me to play with him. He would do this with stuff like music and movies and TV shows and smoking, trying to convince me of their merits, yet would belittle or poke fun at my interests. I recently met a guy, a friend, nothing romantic, who once asked what I liked so much about The Last Jedi, genuinely interested in my answer, and then last week asked if I had any hopes worries for the next movie, was literally stunned by this slight degree of attention and memory. I bet the Millennium Falcon your friend is interested in being more than a friend. In a general sense, simply treating other people with respect. Some specific examples, my boyfriend will acknowledge homeless folks with a smile or chat instead of pretending they don't exist. He says hello to people who work at our local grocery store, or other places we go often. People really respond to this, they know us now and are happy to see us. At the bar we're regulars at, he chats with the older drunks and asks them if they need rides home. Every time I see it, I'm amazed and more in love. Keep a small trash can that you line with a bag like a normal functioning person, in the bathroom, with said bathroom being neat and tidy and stocked with toilet paper. I have a small trash can, with a liner and a lid, in both bathrooms, extra TP on the back of the door, so when you close it you can stare at the reassuring backup roll. Being direct, I've dated dudes before who were non-committal why put the label on it, let's just see where things go which can make a person feel like they're being used. If I was looking for something non-committal too, that'd be fine, but I was upfront that I was interested in something long term. Don't waste my time. If you don't see us dating seriously, that's fine, but let me know so we can both move on to find what we're looking for. My boyfriend of almost 3 years always texted back in a timely manner, showed up for dates on time, and he initiated the where do you see this going talk after probably 4 dates. And it impressed the heck out of me that he was upfront with his feelings instead of dancing around the issue he straight up told me that he liked me a lot, wasn't seeing anyone else and didn't want to, and that he could see this going somewhere great. Not only that, but he continues to be direct he's not afraid to tell me he loves me, or if he's upset, or anything. Now we have multiple pets together and we're looking at houses, probably going to get married next year. Wasn't seeing anyone else and didn't want to. This is a totally alien concept to us in the UK. If we're seeing a person, even casually dating, we don't see anyone else from date 1. It's a given here that we're only seeing one person at a time. And if you see someone else at all that's grounds for a breakup. Couple things I've learned. Keeping the guest bathroom stocked with tissue paper. Maintaining hygiene like trimming fingernails. Being on top of your studies. Knowing how to cook. 
Before I started dating my current boyfriend, I would stay at his house one or two nights a week and he would have to get up for work about two hours earlier than I would. Sometimes he would leave me a bottle of water and an apple or protein bar for breakfast or other times he would write me notes wishing me good luck on a test at school that day. It's a small thing but it reminded me he was thinking of me before he left. A guy who's ultimately not lazy. Everyone has lazy tendencies. I do too. So I get impressed when I see a guy who does simple things like washing his dishes instead of letting them pile up. Cleaning his room from time to time, making his bed in the mornings, not throwing his clothes on the floor, etc. Stuff like that. Making his bed in the mornings. I have never, nor will I ever, see the purpose of this. A few small things that my so did in the first few weeks we were dating. I got a bad sunburn, and he made it his job to keep me in the shade at his sister's cookout. I wasn't drinking alcohol, so he stocked up with seltzer and would grab me one every time he grabbed himself a beer. Everyone was talking shots together, and he poured me water shots so I could join the toast. He did all of this without making a big deal about it. It showed he was thinking about me, taking care of me. We weren't romantically involved, but, whenever he referred to the future, he always insisted we would still be friends. Back then, he didn't know I was extremely suicidal, like, need to call my therapist every day and verify that I am still alive. I was 13, but it helps knowing he did see me living past what I thought would be the end of me. I hope you're doing better now. My wife has told how much she appreciates the fact that I help clean, load unload the dishwasher, usually I unload and she loads, and have dinner ready in the evening, I get home 3 hours before she does, so there's that. Ugh. My husband gets home before me now and still asks me when I give my daily I'm on my way home phone call what is for dinner, like B, you've been home an hour, do something. The little things. I tell my guy friends this all the time, if she's shorter than you, step off the curb so she can kiss you comfortably, if she looks cute today, tell her so with a peck on the cheek, hug her from behind, little things are remembered much better than one big thing. It's good general advice, however I had a girlfriend that preferred verbal compliments over physical ones, I'm one of those show affection, don't just say it types, apparently not everyone likes it that way. A guy who will drop you off at your home and mail sure you get inside before driving away. And on the flip side if you're driving home from his place he makes sure you get into your car alright and everything's kosher before locking the door. I even wait for my dudes to get in safe. For dates though, walk them to the door. Making sure I'm comfortable when we're doing something together. Doesn't have to be every time, or a lot. But a quick hey is the AC okay when we're in his car is nice. Makes it easier to mention when something is making me uncomfortable, giving me two options to choose between when we're deciding what to do, instead of making me decide, hey you want to get food or watch a movie do want pizza or maybe some sushi the options don't have to be absolute, but putting two ideas out there makes it way easier on the decider. I've noticed that most of the guys I have college classes with do not know when to shut up, it's like no one ever told them that other people deserve to respond to. I'm in a particularly annoying summer class with only 3 guys, but 2 are always bending over backwards to try to talk. It's an English class, so we have a lot of discussions. I've noticed that one of the guys interrupts others to say something completely idiotic. It's like him and the other guy are in a contest to see who can sound more pretentious. Oh yeah, let me get to my point. The third guy is respectful and not a discussion hog like the other two. So I think the habit of listening is my new favorite in a guy. Some low butt standards in here ladies. Everyone can wipe their butt and dress themselves in the morning. Where are the females impressed by my samurai sword collection or my textbook like knowledge of the films of Kevin Smith? Who yearns for the gentle caress of a man who knows not just Keegan's choreography from Duel of the Fates, but also Darth Maul's. I refuse to believe there isn't one woman out there whose loins don't tingle when I lean in close and whisper the words I've platinumed your Qza zero. Only commenting because our usernames are pretty much twins. Heyo. Don't pee all over the toilet seat. I am a dude, but growing up with a single mom and two sisters forced me into that habit early on. Plus it's pretty freaking gross. 
Tons of them that basically amount to being able to function as an adult on your own. It's really surprising how many grown men I've met that aren't able to quite adult properly and are just lazy as frick. Wash the dishes before the next meal time. Do the laundry before you've only got stained and stinky t-shirts left. Keep a spare loo roll. Throw the duvet over the bed in the morning. Keep your nails trimmed. Know how to cook a few healthy meals from scratch. Don't constantly oversleep. Shower daily if you have a manual job. B.O. is not impressive. Just get your basic crap together. And that's impressive enough. ETA shower daily. Can't believe I forgot that one. Keep a spare loo roll. Can we just point out that one spare loo roll is not enough. Because holy crap my. Female. Fiance tears through toilet paper at the rate of freaking knots. Jesus freaking Christ this whole thread. I think it's just so hot when a guy knows how to tie his shoes. When my boy spends less than the usual 8 hours playing video games. My heart gets all a flutter. Guys who poop in the toilet. Marry me. Dudes who brush day teeth. Be a functional adult. Have your crap relatively together. And clean your domicile once in a while. It's not hard. But I guess for some people it's their Mount Everest. Makes me sad that the bar is set so low that women, or people in general are impressed with something so easy as washing the dang plates when they're done using them. Taking care of kids. Doing housework without being asked for help because it's not the sole duty of a woman to do all the housework. My husband works full time as do I. I work from home and he does not. When he's home he does a lot for the kids so I don't have to because I'm working while taking care of them. I appreciate that he works full time and that he does his share of tending to the kids and the housework. Instead of just throwing your clothes on the floor, get a laundry basket. Have soap in your bathroom. Empty your trash cans once in a while. Don't leave dirty dishes laying around again. I'm not saying you have to be perfect, but at least put it in the sink and let the crap soak off in some water for an hour. Basically, just don't be lazy. Serious question. Do people upvote this because they are genuinely interested in the answers or it's more of a bait for female redditors? I've been seeing the same girls over Reddit. Watch your guys to impress you type question at the front page at least once every week. Every question is a pick from last week's most popular questions. Always. Being understanding that if I'm in a bad mood, that I may just need some space and don't need you all over me. Also, just the little things, like if I'm working late, small errands being made is always a huge relief. Just teamwork in general. Discipline. When he shows that he can do what he's supposed to do day in and day out without complaining even when it's hard. Also paying attention to little details. I knew this guy who would have a to-do list and would go off of it and add more throughout the day. I already j. Thought he has hot but that made him much hotter. Also a guy who cuts his hair often. Making proper apologies. The whole acknowledge the action was wrong. Showing understanding of why it was hurtful. And reassure that steps are being taken to prevent it being repeated. Treating service workers with respect and tipping well. I instantly knew that if he could treat service workers with respect, he'd treat everyone with respect. So I am a guy and was scrolling through almost all of the comments. Let me create a cheat sheet for all my bros. Apply deodorant. Keep a waste bin in your bathroom. Avoid showing off. Learn to reverse your car with a single hand looking back with the other hand on the passenger seat. P.S. I have been doing all of the above things and have been single since eternity. Moral of the story is don't trust everything you read on reddit. It seems a lot of women have resorted to being impressed with basic adult human hygiene and actually listening when people speak. Making plans in advance. Vastly increases the chances I'll be available. Gives me time to look nice. Lets my anxious brain prepare. Generally just makes me less stressed. When they do stuff without asking, non-sexual for obvious reasons, things like chores and stuff. I think a lot of guys are super good at pulling their own weight around the house but they still need to be asked or to ask. Example, do you want me to take the garbage out versus just taking the garbage out? Super small thing but really stands out when someone does it. Treating the server at a restaurant with respect and kindness, especially when there's a mistake with the order or something. If you're rude to the waiter, that's a deal breaker. 
It's weird as a guy when you see other guys not helping out around the house. We have two kids, and my wife works a part-time job. I have a full-time job outside of the house. This means, to me, that my wife is working overtime, taking care of a 5 and 3 year old, and working 20 hours plus a week from home, is insane. So when I help around the house, it's not because I think it's her job to do the cook, do laundry, dishes, or general cleaning of the house. It's because we're both working our butts off and share responsibilities in the house. I have seen friends family of mine who come home and literally play video games while their wife cooks dinner, keeps the house clean. It just doesn't seem right. Taking care of themselves having good personal hygiene. It is not gay or girly too. Keep your nails trimmed, filed, and clean. Wax pluck groom your eyebrows. Keep your body hair groomed. Use skincare products like lotion face masks, face cream, etc. Use products like fabric softener and dryer sheets. Take baths. Having feminine hygiene products at their house if they know that girls are coming over. I've been to a party at a house with no girls living there and it was really nice just see a little basket with pads, tissues, and toothpicks on the side of the sink. Super small stuff but really made an excellent impression and showed what amazing hosts they were. I get the feeling that would give off the impression that you sleep around if you aren't doing that specifically for a girlfriend. Knowing how to basic adult tasks like cooking, laundry, cleaning, etc. How do you even live away from home without knowing how to do those things? They aren't even difficult but I know so many men who are incapable of such basic tasks. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. for now.